Good morning. Welcome to the John Madola Show here at WILK. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, we appreciate you joining us each and every Saturday morning here as we talk local sports and uh, try to get to all the fun stuff that we could each and every week as well. So uh, we got a lot of good things to talk about today, including the Crestwood baseball team. So uh, we'll get their coach, Tony Kaladi, in here along with a handful of the uh, student-athletes from Crestwood this morning here on the show. And we'll also talk some North Pocono volleyball. That's coming up here any moment. And we're hoping to uh, to check in with a couple of guys, that, uh, local guys that have done some great stuff uh, in their time. Keith Gavin has now become the coach at the uh, University of Pittsburgh for the wrestling program. And Matt McGloin a little later in the show as well. He is now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. So both of those guys expected to join us here this morning on the John Mandola Show. We'll give you all the locations. You can pick up a copy of the John Mandola Show, our baseball and softball magazine that is out and about right now. So uh, a little later this year, but uh, nonetheless, we'll give you some good information on the teams to look for and, uh, you know, the, the teams that are expected to compete for state championships. Uh, and I think we have a couple in this area that, uh, that are hoping uh, for that, both in the baseball and the softball side of things. So we'll get to that coming up here on the John Mandola Show. I want to thank our friends again at McCarthy Tire Service, family-owned since 1926. Well, let's welcome in the North Pocono Boys Volleyball Team, Judd Holdridge, the head coach, Jim Kramer, the assistant coach with us, and uh, we'll get to some of the players with us. And, uh, guys, welcome into the show. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Well, uh, Coach uh, Judd, uh, let's talk about uh, your career. It's uh, It's been a while, and uh, you've really done some nice stuff. Uh, what's your experience been like here at uh, North Pocono? Oh, my experience at North Pocono has, has been great. It's the love of the game and being around young peop- young players to, to promote volleyball. And they work pretty hard for me, and I really enjoy it. And talk about uh, Jim Kramer's role. What to, what does he do uh, as the assistant coach, and how does he help you? And you guys got to have, a, I'm sure, a good synergy to, to make sure you guys are doing the right stuff. Jim does everything for me that I ask him. He's my right hand. Without Jim, the team wouldn't be playing as well as they do. He keeps stats for me. He promotes volleyball in, at North Pocono for me, so he's a big help. And uh, let's uh, talk with Jim Kramer uh, just a bit. And, Jim, uh, what's it like uh, coaching with your friend here, Judd Holdridge? Uh, it's, it's an experience that any coach would love to have. Um, Judd's legacy, Judd's experience, his knowledge. He's been a mentor to me for the last seven, ten years. Uh, it, I, I would not be a coach on the girls' side or on the guy side if it wasn't for what Judd's taught me. And let's talk a little bit about what you, you see Judd do out there uh, as a coach, what, do you, what he expects of his players, and then things that – you know, everybody says, hey, they take things from certain coaches. So what are some discipline things that you take from Judd? Well, the biggest thing is, is what Judd had just mentioned. It's the love for the game. He, he coaches the history. He coaches the, the sportsmanship. Uh, one of the big rules on our team is the fact that, that we're all young gentlemen. And, and the, the life lessons in addition to the techniques of the volleyball and, and the experience and the history he brings. And Judd, uh, getting back to you, the head coach there at North Pocono, uh, talk about your, your volleyball history, how it all started for you. Oh, wow. It started back probably when I was in kindergarten. My dad was the head coach at Tonkanic, and he started back in 1952. So when most boys grow up with a baseball or a football in their crib, I grew up with a volleyball in my crib and um, started playing as a freshman in high school for my dad. Actually, I started playing USA in fifth grade. And it just developed with my two brothers that were in front of me. So it's, pretty, it's a whole family tradition. And I went on to play at college with uh, McHaley at a junior college. And we played the Big Ten schools. And I was lucky to win a national title there. So I'm really blessed with the game. Well, had to be a great experience for you. You talk about the volleyball here in northeastern Pennsylvania and, and what it's been like uh, over the decades for you because uh, there's been a, a lot that you followed. Uh, talk about the, you know some camaraderie you've had with some fellow coaches and, and just getting out there and, and maybe competing and, and seeing what some of these other coaches are hoping to do because I think all the coaches, hey, we would, just want to make volleyball a little better here in Northeast PA. Well, my best friend is John Baranowski from Lake Lehman. We had some big battles over the years. He had a battle, you know, he fought with my dad quite a bit in, in district titles. John's brought the game along, for, you know, and he was my best competition at the time. And right now it's Holy Redeemer, and they're on the top now. But it, it's, it's fun to go out and try to, to compete against everybody each year. 
Dalval right now. My nephew's there, and he's doing a great job also. Yeah, Coach Baranowski back in the day at Lake Lehman in that tiny little gym there. <laughs> uh, they, were, they were almost unstoppable. He really had a nice program, got the most out of his kids. Here at North Pocono, talk a little bit about the, the culture of volleyball right now. Oh, um, my players, they, you know, they know what I want out of them. You know, it's not about winning. It's about leaving it on the court and practicing hard and and see what happens. And these kids, they come in and, you know, they, they push themselves. They make me a better coach because they ask questions, which really help me to, to get the new ideas what's going on in volleyball. All right, uh, Judd Holdridge joining us here on the John Madola Show as we talk North Pocono Volleyball and uh, assistant coach Jim Kramer with us. Uh, Jim, as, as far as uh, the things that – that you do at practice on a daily basis and, and trying to compete in the league. Tell us a little bit uh, about some things that uh, you handle for Coach Holdridge. Um, I basically handle the JV squad and, and the younger players. I try to put together the strongest group to give competition to the varsity. And then we'll, when we do a lot of our internal scrimmages, I, I, I help Judd out with looking at defensive stances and, and where we can take advantage of different situations. Um, Largely, you know, Judd's practice is it's a very defensive-minded team, which in, in volleyball has been very successful. So uh, we, we focus a lot on, on having my younger guys push the varsity and, and push their defense. We're talking North Pocono Volleyball here on the John and Dola Show. We're going to get with some of the players here coming up. And uh, Coach Holdridge, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the first guy we're going to talk to today, James Ildefonso uh, as a senior. What does James bring to the court? Well, James was a, is a basketball player, so his ability to jump up and reach for the ball is, is helps us. He comes in, he's you know better well conditioning, and his attitude when he James is on, we know we're gonna we're gonna do quite well with the team. And he, I'm letting him play back row now because he has long arms and can move sideways, and he's picking up a lot of balls for us on defense, which I'm really happy for us. All right, let's welcome in James Ildefonso here on the John Mandola Show from North Pocono and. Uh, James, let's talk about this year's team. Uh, you guys having some fun out there? Oh, always. We always have fun out there. Tell us about uh, some of the things that you, you've picked up from Coach Holdridge or Coach Kramer. Well, it was always mostly about attitude because when I first started, I had no idea how to play volleyball at all. I was such a beginner at it. And then such the atmosphere, different from basketball, just changed my whole life around. And how they taught me how to be a young gentleman as well because Coach has been like a huge role model for me over these past three years. And talk a little bit about different things that you try to do now that you're a senior and, and teach some of these younger guys there at North Pocono. Well, mostly it's always about just leaving it out there on the court and never giving up on it. Even though you're down by like three points, there's always a way to come back. There's always a way to fight and never give up on the court because once you always have that like down face on, you know the game's already over. Tell us a little bit about playing that back row. Coach mentioned uh, you, know, you being back there. What's that like? Oh, it's a lot different from the front row. I, I always have to be down, always have to move my feet. It's a challenge, but I could always get it. And as far as uh, some of the other players on the team that, uh, that aren't with us, can you name a couple uh, guys this year that you think are stepping up there at North Pocono? Um, mostly uh, Nick Bedard. Uh, last year he was mostly playing JV, but he really he never gives up on anything. He has the biggest heart that I know of, that he will never give up on you. He will always be there. And Sean Smith is also another guy like that. Uh, both of them are huge role models for the whole team, and they both have lots of courage. James, uh, overall, uh, talk about some of the positives of this year's team that you see as far as whether you guys uh, you know, have a good servers this year, you're strong on the front line. Tell us about some of those, those things that are working for you. Oh, our serving's spectacular right now. That's all, we practice that almost every day to hit the spots that we always need to, how hard it is, how keep always keep it in. Um, also is our defense because we practice that every day. That's our main focus is defense and passing because if you can't do that, then, you know. It's, it's your senior year here, so uh, what's up next for you once graduation? Do you have a, a, a set plan? Um, I will be playing volleyball at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. 
All right. Sounds like a, a great thing and uh, obviously a big step, uh, Liberty University. Well, congratulations, James. Thank you. All right, James Ildefonso headed to Liberty University to play volleyball for North Pocono. we still got a couple more guys to talk to, and, of course, we'll continue the conversation with Coach Judd Holdridge, his assistant Jim Kramer, here on the John Mandola Show. The Crestwood baseball team standing by. They'll be coming up in the next 15 minutes. We'll also get to Matt McGloin, a new member of the Philadelphia Eagles, and Keith Gavin, the head coach, at the University of Pittsburgh, of course, he was a Lackawanna Trail guy and pretty darn good in his own right back in the day covering him uh, many years ago. Well, uh, I want to tell you all the locations you can pick up a copy of our baseball and softball magazine. Let me give you a handful right now. You can pick up a copy today at Frank's Rocat State Farm Insurance Agency in Tunkhannock, Lex Pharmacy in Nicholson, Brown's Gym there in Clark Summit, the Greater Carbondale YMCA, Beston's Auto Body, Fred Forte, State Farm Insurance Agent, along with Garth Eastat, State Farm Insurance Agent, and Michael Griffin, State Farm Insurance Agent, and Jen Ricky Loophole there in Dunmore. Mendocino's Pizza and Family Restaurant, that's located in Daleville. Mendocino's Italian Specialty Store, that's on Sanderson Avenue in Scranton. Electric City Baseball in Scranton. McCarthy Tire, that's located in Scranton as well. Vincenzo's Pizza. Rinaldi Auto Sales in Taylor, our Carol and Janelle in Old Forge, Ravello's Pizza in Old Forge, and Manuka Subaru. It's all we do. Well, we're coming up on 1014 here on the John Mandola Show. We're going to take a timeout. Let's head out now to our local State Farm Insurance Agent Jeremy Pachinski break. Like a good neighbor, Jeremy Pachinski is there. We'll be back here in WILK. Welcome back to the John Mandola Show, WILK. 1017 in the morning, continuing the conversation. Well, we got Matt McGloin and Keith Gavin coming up here on the show and a chance to win some Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Rider tickets here on the John Mandola Show. You can follow us online, thejohnmandolashow.com, or again, follow us on Twitter, at John Mandola Show. We give you a story each and every day, interviews. Of course, we do the interviews usually during the week, our Carol and Janelle, or maybe we'll uh, get uh, some local coaches or players on and Today, we happen to be fortunate uh, enough to have the North Pocono volleyball team with us, Judd Holdridge with us. And, Coach, before we get to some of the players again, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of those philosophies and, of course, what high school volleyball is all about. And these guys and and you saying, hey, you know, it's about discipline. It's about becoming a young man. Uh, How about the strategy of the game? You know, what what kind of strategy are we seeing out of District 2 coaching right now? Has it changed a whole lot over the, the time you've been coaching? Yes, it's changed quite a bit, just the philosophy of the game. You know, before when I started, it was the old scoring where side out. Now it's rally scoring, so it makes the da- game a little bit different. Um, my philosophy, I remember I lost my first game against Nanny Coke when I first started, and my dad came out of the stand, and he just shook his head, and he said, son, the only thing I can tell you is just you got to work hard. And my philosophy is, you know, if, if you work hard, you, your players can develop for you. And if I meet them halfway and I work hard, they work hard for me. So that's why I go with the philosophy. The volleyball in the area is getting much better than what it has been in a long time. And I'm happy for that. But you go down in Pittsburgh and Allentown, it's, it's much better. But people don't realize that volleyball started in our old District 12 in Pennsylvania in this area. And that's, you know, back in the 50s. And then the rest of the state grew. So I'm very happy with it. And uh, as far as... Uh volleyball being bigger in certain parts of the state we know it, it happens in cycles and different sports you know field hockey in our area seems to be pretty darn big um but uh, talk about uh, do do some of these other programs in different parts of the state have junior high volleyball or is it just more clubs um there's most of the schools in the pittsburgh area and allentown area have junior high program they start seventh and eighth grade some of the schools start in fifth and sixth grade the northeastern has a big club team and they travel all over the United States playing. They have three big sponsors, and that's why they're the team to beat right now. Gotcha. Well, uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about uh, Vincent Weiner. Uh, he's up next. He's a senior. Tell us about his skill set. V- Vince works very hard for me. Um, he's a type of player, if you ask him to do anything for you, he will do it. He's my middle blocker right now. Um, he has a really nice serve, and what I'm really happy with him, he's starting to learn how to read the other team on defense, and he's picking up a lot of hard spikes for us. I'm very happy. He's one gentleman that will get on the floor for me and get his shirt dirty, diving for the volleyball, so that makes a big help. Well, you always like those kind of players. Let's welcome in Vincent Weiner from the North Pocono volleyball team. And Vincent, uh, let's talk about uh, you growing up, and, and when did you first start playing volleyball, and, and now that you find uh, that 
you love volleyball or just something you kind of do to, to stay busy? Well, I first started playing my freshman year because North Pocono doesn't have a junior high program. But my mom played volleyball when she was in high school, and I always knew about it growing up, and I knew that I wanted to play it in high school. And it has definitely developed into a love for the sport. It's not just something that I do with my time. It's a sport that I truly love and enjoy to play. And every time I get on that court, I want to play my best. Let's talk about the camaraderie you're having with your teammates. Uh, tell us about a few that uh, you get along with. And it's been a, a probably an interesting ride because there's a couple of seniors here at North Pocono. And you guys will be going your separate ways. Yeah, the team is really a family this year. We've really become brothers. And I, th I think everybody gets along with everybody. There's really nobody that we don't get along with because if that happens, then we won't have a successful team and we won't have a successful year. As far as uh, your future endeavors, what's up next for you? Next year, I'll be attending Penn State to be a mechanical engineer. All right. Sounds like a great future, and uh, we wish you the very best. Thanks for coming in today, Vincent. Thank you. All right, continuing the conversation, and uh, let's get assistant coach Jim Kramer right now. And Jim, uh, tell us a little bit about our next fellow who to talk about, our final one today. It is Justin Mormon. Uh, what do you see from him uh, when he's out there on the court? Justin provides to the team versatility. Um, Justin's played setter. Uh, he was our starting setter last year as a junior, and he, he's – accepted the role and, and is actually performing exceptionally well as the libero this year, which is the defensive specialist, the, the individual with a different colored uniform on the court. Justin, as a true senior and as a leader, does what needs to be done to help the team. And, and, and he brings that to the team. It, it's a great unifier to have a person who's willing to do what's necessary there. All right, let's welcome in Justin Mormon from the North Pocono Boys volleyball team here on the John and Dola show. And, uh, Justin, talk about that role as the libero. Uh, it's a great role. I love it. Playing defense, there's nothing better than digging up a really hard hit and uh, letting my setter set it and then either Vince or James to put it down. And talk about some of the guys that could do it, uh, you know, throwing down the kills uh, there for North Pocono. You mentioned Vincent and James. And do you have more than a couple big hitters? Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, Sean and Con Coles, Nick Bedard. They, are, they can put it down just as well as anyone. How about some of the competition you play in the league? Uh, I'm sure you look forward to, to every match, but is there or one in particular that like kind of going against? Um, no. I, they're all fun matches to play. There's definitely some people that we're going to be really excited to play this year. How about uh, your future endeavors right now? Uh, coming up, uh, we got two guys that, that kind of have their map going, and uh, – Unusual to have all three uh, when you get three guys together, or three young ladies from a high school. But uh, tell us about uh, what's uh, what you're thinking right now. Uh, I will be attending Temple University next fall to major in bioengineering. The great students and uh, three guys with a plan. Uh, you can't beat that. Uh, Coach, uh, you got three guys that know what they're doing. They're pretty darn focused, huh? Yes, they are. Yeah, I have a lot of very intelligent players this year, and, and I'm blessed with that. Some of them are – too smart and they think too much on the court instead of playing the game and it's sometimes hard to coach them but once they figure out what they're doing they're i'm all set well it's always easier i guess uh, when you got those guys doing it in a classroom like justin is and uh, justin talk a little bit about the family support you get with the whether it's the academics or the athletics it seems like you you got some stuff going on for you in a, a positive direction uh yeah definitely i i have a lot of support my uh family loves volleyball and they think that uh academics is very important and a lot of northeastern Pennsylvania kids uh, heading down to Temple this year. We know a few uh, from our neck of the woods here in the Wyoming Valley Conference and the Lackawanna Conference. So, Justin, we wish you the very best. Thank you. All right. And, of course, uh, Coach Holdridge and uh, Coach Kramer, we appreciate you guys coming in today. We wish you the very best, and uh, thank you so much for your time, and uh, hope you enjoy your holiday weekend. Well, thank you. Thank you for supporting volleyball. Appreciate it. You got it. And uh, Ken uh, it is the North Pocono Boys Volleyball team doing some good stuff. Legendary coach Judd Holdridge here and Jim Kramer, the assistant coach, with him. Well, uh, we come back here on the show. We'll talk Crestwood baseball. Here's some more locations. You can pick up a copy of our softball and baseball magazine, Dr. Patrick Adnesio, Valley Garment Care and Plains, Danko's All American Fitness. They got a new location as well in the Back Mountain, Michael's Restaurant and Plains, McCarthy Tire in Wilkesbury, Kingston and Hazleton, The Athletic Image in Wilkesbury, The Hilton Garden Inn in Wilkesbury, Luzerne Optical. Dr. France Dental in Kingston, and Ellie's Pizza Academy Street in Wilkesbury. We come back, Crestwood Baseball next 
as we take a time out and head out to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Jen Ricky Loophole. Break like a good neighbor. Jen Ricky Loophole is there. We'll be back in WILK.